I have made a big mistake. Friends, today I will be explaining to you why my third account, Brofist, has been permanently banned from the Roblox site. It is a sad event, on behalf of the ignorance of the admins and the players alike. Now, you may or may not know this, but the terms of service on online games can contain some very, very important information. Some even more important, in fact, than the community guidelines that everyone is told to read. This includes things like legal issues, don't sue us claims, fine prints, restated community guidelines, etc. But there's one thing on these terms of conditions that are only found there, and nowhere else, and these are extremely important. Now, despite all the L matters trading their hats for PayPal funds, front page barons selling more Robux than the Roblox company, and the general belief that trading items for build Builders Club cards is okay. The fact is, if you get caught doing any of the above, you will be permanently banned without any chance to appeal. I got caught selling a group, which I keep confidential, to a certain user who will remain anonymous. He gave me a $25 6 months Roblox card in exchange for a group that I gave him. The trade went well, and we were both very happy with the result, at least for the next few days. On Thursday, I came back from school to find my account deleted, and dozens of Skype messages from the guy I sold it to. Both of us were permanently deleted, without any chance of appeal. Neither of us had any idea why, for the admins didn't provide any information on this ban. It took hours for me to get into contact with one of the admins to figure out that we were banned for the trade. I'm still shocked, and pretty regretful, that I lost 1.5 million Robux. However, I went through this before twice, so a permanent ban isn't very new to me. However, what really makes me sad about this is the kid that I traded with. He had to beg his parents for $25 for this card, and he was extremely excited and extremely ecstatic and extremely happy when he got the group. He was completely innocent, and he paid $25 to get banned. All of that hard work that he put into his account was ripped away from him, leaving him feeling robbed. I cannot, claim, I cannot blame the admins for this, at least not fully. It is my fault, as well as my partners, for not reading the terms of service. We are both ignorant. However, there is a problem. The terms of service is a subtle tiny button, and the warning about this is a subtle tiny block of text. Not only is Roblox aimed towards younger audiences who don't even read the terms of service, but even someone who does read it can easily miss this. This is a huge problem. I do not want this kind of ban to happen again to anybody. I want the future of all community and users to be safe from such bans, and to do this, I need the help of you, the viewer. Please, be a big help to all of the community. Make sure that no innocent children are hurt by the ignorance of the admins and themselves. Send a private message to every admin you know. Email info at roblox.com and explain to them that you care for your fellow players, that you do not want to see others banned. Be ensure to include asking the admins to make the terms of service more visible and prompt the players to read it, add the no selling rule to the community guidelines viewed by nearly everybody, firmly state this rule in the blog to get the message out. My friend and I are permanently banned. There is nothing we can do about our accounts. All the robux, all the work, the happiness and everything in between is now gone. However, we do not want this to happen again to anybody. And to ensure that nothing like this happens to anyone ever again, we're going to need your help. Thank you. If you have any questions, whether you are a user, admin, parent, please contact the Roblox user Corncobber. The name is in the description. If the Corncobber account does not exist, this means he was banned. And that means the admins are trying to censor me, and they're trying to stop you and me from doing good for everybody. You should complain about this, loud and clear. Only do this though if Corncobber is banned, because this probably isn't the admin's fault. I will stop making I will not stop making videos, rather, and I will still go to BlogsCon. This just <sighs> complicates things. Expect to see more from me. Until next time.